Hey everyone, how's it going? We're playing some more Ratchet and Clank. We are doing the Quark Tastic battle, which is of course the hardest uh, challenge inside of uh, this place. It is 100 rounds. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty hard, but we're gonna go ahead today try and get it done so we can kind of move on to the rest of the game. If you guys are wondering, I have tried this multiple times prior to this. Yeah, I've died a few I wouldn't go as to as far as to say I've died a few hundred times but probably like 20 30 times I've, I've given this a pretty solid world but saying that because I've tried it so much I feel like I'll I have like a pretty decent grasp on actually how to get it done now so we're gonna go ahead and do it it's it's got it's gonna be like a combination of trying to save ammo at the right times uh, obviously, some absolute pure skill on my part, because I am an absolute unit on the battlefield when it comes to Ratchet and Clank, but yeah, we're going to start out using uh, this gun because it's just pretty decent in the early rounds. We can get some ammo for it later. It's it's all like mid-tier, right? Where it's decent, but not amazing, so it's great to use in the beginning. Because later, you'll want to save your really good guns to take on a lot of the bosses, or, you know, if you're running low on health and you need to wait for some more boxes to just give you a little bit, you'll want to use your big guns, your really good ones, to kind of get you there. And also, people sleep on the Ratchet. I don't know why people, you know, it's in the name of the game, right, Ratchet and Clank? It's actually a pretty decent weapon. I don't know why people sleep on it. Now... It does suck in the sense that you tend to lose life while using it, because of course you got to get up close and personal. But uh, I don't know, man. I, I, I think it's underutilized. I, I think by far uh, the the hardest, the reason people lose is because they run out of ammo, they run out of decent ammo. Well, that's not gonna happen if you just use your ratchet. But saying that, let's put our ratchet away. We can start using the disc gun. It's kind of sick, and we can kind of go back and forth between the two. The disc gun is goaded. I think I've said this a few times already in like my playthrough, but the disc gun is absolutely goaded. Along with the disc gun, uh, we will definitely want to utilize the Infernos as much as we can. It's free, right? Uh, like, once again, I think the most valuable part of using something like an Inferno is simply saving ammo. It's not that we don't take damage. It's not that it's super strong. It's any time we're in Inferno is time we're not wasting our ammo which is by far the most important thing in this challenge. And again, I think the challenge itself it isn't hard. Like, it's not hard to not get hit. What's hard is just having enough resources to actually survive until the 100th round. But yeah, as long as you stay steady, you pick up the boxes as they come, you use the weaker guns in the beginning, you use your ratchet here and there, and utilize all the infernos that possibly come your way. I don't think this challenge is crazy hard. Uh, but again, that was after, you know, 20 to 30 tries. So something like the shotgun is probably a good time to use here. Just try to, you know, we still have full ammo for it. Try to utilize it a little bit so then we can use a better gun in the future. We have an Inferno. Let's go and use that. Another opportunity to save a little bit, a little bit of ammo towards the end. Now what's nice is you really just need to save ammo for rounds like 30 through 50 and then something like 80 through 100. Because in the second half, if you guys don't know, if you haven't watched like all of the challenges in a series, I guess, uh, the first half of the game introduces timed challenges. That's kind of the gimmick. In the second half of the game, the big gimmick is the rotation of guns. You know, it, it switches your guns after you run out of ammo. So I would almost like go as far as to say that the first set of challenges is actually harder. The, the time limitations, you can get fairly close to failing even with decent guns. Meanwhile, the whole gun switch thing is um, really only hard if you don't have your guns leveled up, if you know what I'm saying. So, yeah, I actually much prefer, I, I think the harder ones are the, the, the first half. So what I'm trying to say here is that we need to save ammo, but... Between rounds like 50 through like 80-ish, a lot of the rounds are these swap guns. And the great thing about these swapping of guns is whenever you get a new gun, they give you a new set of ammo. You use it and you go to the next gun. So it doesn't actually detract from your current ammo. 
So there's really not a way to run out of ammo. You just use the gun until it switches to something else. And you switch, it gives you something else. And there's no limit to how many times you can switch a gun. Like, if you switch five times, the game doesn't say, okay, you switched too many times, you didn't defeat enough enemies, you failed. That doesn't exist. You just keep switching guns. So, yeah, actually, the, the, the rounds with the gun switches are my favorite because those are by far the easiest. I have nothing to worry about. Those are truly the rounds where really all you got to worry about is trying not to lose, you know, any HP. Uh, but yeah, we're already around 27. We're a quarter of the way through. I don't think we've used too much of our ammo. I think we're utilizing the Infernos and our Ratchet to a decent amount. We're at 78 through 85, so we're doing pretty good. What is also a good idea is using a lot of the a lot of the weapons with not a lot of ammo. It might be a good idea to just utilize them in the beginning because you'll naturally get more ammo for them through the boxes. So it might be, and also things like the turrets are stupidly strong. So it's a good idea to try to utilize them when possible. Yeah, like the turrets are actually overpowered. I'm glad that they like set a certain cap and limit on the amount that you could place or how many that you. Because, dude, those turrets are strong. I'm telling you, like, if you don't even bother googling how to defeat bosses, dude, if you throw a bunch of turrets at a boss, I guarantee you, you'll, you'll, like, melt the boss in just a few seconds if you have your turrets high enough. Yeah, let's go ahead and utilize another Inferno here, get it going, we're on round 32, doing good so far, 77 out of 85, so, hey, not too bad. The, fun, the thing that I find funny is I feel like the game try to tries to utilize those ninja ones with like the lightsabers. They're they're supposed to like represent like the end game, you know, foes. But like, they're by far like some of the easiest to hit. Which is, then again, I feel like all of the enemies are easy to hit. I think I find myself taking the most amount of damage actually from these little flying things, because I just tend to like ignore them. So I'm like, oh, they're one shot enemies, and then. I get a blade in my butt cheek, and then I'm like, oh, that hurts. So, yeah, I think the most deadly are the little ones. Sometimes I get hit by a beam or two from these homeboys, but that's that's on a rare occasion. See, I lost, like, 10 plus HP just this round. I need to focus up. Also, these fans on the floor are, like, oddly deadly. I feel like I step on them. A little too often, but uh, I think we'll be fine. Saying, I just talked trash on the ninjas and I just got smacked up in the face by one, but it's okay. Alright, where are we at? 38, we got a sleeping gas round. This might be just a little bit embarrassing. I have no idea what that means. I, I'm, and I'm being completely serious. The game keeps like threatening me with like, oh, this is the sleeping gas round. I have never encountered any form of sleeping gas throughout this entire game. I don't know what that is. Like, is that is that time? Like, if I wait too long, I get slept? Genuinely, I have no idea. If someone wants to tell me in the comments, because I'm definitely too lazy to Google it at this point. Like, I don't know how I'm finishing the final challenge in the game, and I still don't even know what one of the punishments is. What is the sleeping gas punishment? I don't know. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and destroy some people with the inferno try not to jump in the lava for giggles that would that's probably a good idea here Get these little ones out of the way okay we've lost a little bit of hp we're at 56 out of 85 which isn't preferred but it is what it is we'll use we used our whip a little bit try to use the the graviton or whatever it's called weapon yeah honestly the whip is i think overall the most disappointing weapon in the game i for some reason in the beginning i thought it was going to be like an absolute powerhouse must use gun at the end of the game and yeah turns out it's a uh, not that great actually it runs out of ammo a little too quickly it's only you know pretty close people yeah kind of a shame actually uh, kind of sucks but it's all right uh but you know there's a lot of guns in this game and i like using them all so no 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 harm done but the cool the whip is pretty cool i'll give it that it's still it's a little weak you know I, I said i didn't say inferno but i'll take an inferno again those things are just basically free money dude stonks 
You get that, you don't, you don't have to waste any ammo. Bro, this machine gun in the middle is an absolute menace to society. I feel like it's not too hard to dodge, but it definitely is a little harder to dodge if you're trying to fight 20 million ninjas. Now, here's the one cool thing about that machine gun, which I will give it, is you can actually utilize it to save ammo. And you guys know how much I love me some ammo saving time. Yeah. Uh, fun fact, that machine gun actually hurts enemies too. So if you can kind of get the enemies in the line of fire, it will hurt them. And that, yeah, see like right there. And that's profit, you know? That's just more ammo that I didn't have to dispense from my, from my machinery. So that's pretty cool. Definitely try to utilize that machine whenever possible. It's not going to save up too, too much ammo, but hey, every penny counts, you know? Let's get the agents of doom out. Just have them get do some work here for us. We can probably get the shot cannon out. Once again, just utilizing the weaker guns in the first half. So in the second half, um, you know, we can have it. But it's boss time. First boss. Once again, I, it, once you've done this a few times, it's pretty easy. Like, especially the disc gun. Look at that. Dude, one disc is basically already halfway done. We'll shoot a disc at this person. You're already done. I'm actually surprised I got hit there. Alright, there we go. The other person will come. We'll shoot a disc at them. Yeah, anyone who says the disc gun isn't the best gun in the game is a liar. Look, dude. Yeah, like, okay. Yeah, I'm not going to even argue, bro. Look how, look how absolutely nasty the disc gun is. That's gross. Like, how is it that good? We just finished the boss round and we actually didn't even do anything. I... You know what? I had a pretty good childhood, so no comment on that. Alright, let's pull out the whip real quick. Try to get a couple of e easier kills. Yeah, I would expect like the whip to like stun or one shot, but no, it doesn't. It's just, uh, yeah. It even takes like three hits to kill these guys, which is a little... Again, like you'd think like a, like a close melee gun. Like the ratchet does a lot of damage. You'd think like the whip... Since it's like a close melee, they would increase his damage, but no, no, it's uh, still kind of weak. Just a little bit of a shame, but... Also, you just realized, I think in the beginning of the game, they mentioned that we could like charge up some of our guns. How, why have I never utilized that ever in my life? But I guess it's too late to start now, so I'm just not going to bother with it. Alright, we're making our way through. Can you believe it? It is already round 55, halfway through. I think this is another gas round. Once again, beats me what that whatever that means. Again, I'm, I'm assuming if I just don't do it fast enough, they'll put me to sleep. I don't know, man. I was just sleeping like an hour ago, so don't like don't talk to me. Or you know what? Yeah, to get if you want to just put me to sleep, just put me to sleep. I'll gladly sleep for another couple hours. But yeah, let's pull out shot cannon. Around halfway ammo with it. Probably use a little bit more and then put it away here. I, I, the sound of this gun is very satisfying, but once again, we should probably utilize our ratchet as much as possible just to save a little bit of ammo. Another sleeping gas round. Not really sure what that's going to do to me, but we're here for it. I am here for it. Round 59, here we go. Almost a 60, I'll pull out the whip. I do like the final color of the whip, though. I think it looks really cool. I mean, tell me if I'm wrong, but the whip is def you know, aside from the actual ratchet, the whip is probably his most iconic weapon. No? I'm trying to think of all, like, the box arts and posters and, like, you know, media that I've seen from Ratchet and Clank, and I gotta sneeze. <laughs> Bless me. It's a bad time to sneeze in the middle of a round. Um... Like, tell me if I'm wrong, but I feel like most media that I've seen portrays him with his whip or his ratchet. Maybe? I think I'm having, like, a Mandela effect. Like, how have I seen Ratchet and Clank portrayed? But yeah. Who knows? You guys tell me, what do you think is his most, like, famous gun? Like, when, when you... Pi just picture... Close your eyes. And picture R Ratchet, right? What gun is he holding in your mind? I think for me, it's definitely the whip, right? I think it's just, like, iconic. Especially for the PS2 era. Uh, but yeah. 
Mandela effect is pretty interesting. I know I'm kind of going off topic here, but dude, I mean, what? Well, what am I? I'm just defeating guys over and over again. You know, we got we got hundred rounds. We got a lot to talk about. So I'm just gonna put this out there that I saw this morning while browsing TikTok. You know, as I do as a 1999 boomer here, dude. Fruit of the Loom, you know the company that makes like clothing. Apparently, there's never been a cornucopia in their logo. Blew my mind. I'm just saying. So, I don't know if Fruit of the Loom is like specifically like United States based or if that's. But it, dude, bro, look it up. Like the the Fruit of the Loom logo, it does not have a cornucopia. Crazy to me. But anyway, I should I should probably just stay on topic here. Let's pull out probably my favorite gun. Probably not the strongest, but by far one of my favorites. I I think this gun is so cool. We're gonna utilize it for a little bit. Just try to utilize some of its ammo here. And we'll get some more ammo back from the boxes. Bink bink. Pull out the, the machine gun, the blicky. There's an infernal box in front of me, which we'll pro probably utilize real soon. Pull out the whip. We got two, zero. All right, we're out of the whip. Let's try to maybe utilize the Inferno soon. I don't know when the best time to do it is. Pull out the Tempest a little bit more. Bonk. Utilize our Ratchet for the smaller people. Dude, why is it not giving me that thing on the floor? That's ammo. That belongs to me, Gib. Ooh, machine gun. You know what that means. It's Inferno time. Saves us a little bit of health. Saves us a little bit of ammo. Makes life really good for us. Oh, and of course I take damage right at the end there. Alright. What are we at? We're at round 72 out of 100. Very close to being done. My health ain't the best. We got 34 out of 85. It's not the greatest. Not the greatest. But... We're doing it, slowly but surely. Hopefully we can get a few more life things out of the boxes. Take us up to like 40, 50, and then we don't have to worry about the last boss fight. But again, the last boss fight is really, really hard if you don't like realize how to cheese the boss. Like, yeah, you could pull out your shot cannon and shoot it a couple, whoopsies. Shoot it a few million times, but it's really just easier. Get out your turrets, as I do. Lay down your turrets. Lay down some of the agents, your boom agents. It's a good day. You don't even have to shoot. They'll just melt it. Take care of it for you. All right, 75. We're three-fourths of the way through. We'll utilize our missiles a little bit. Got another Inferno box in front of us. Utilize... I think... The sniper is by far the gun that I've utilized least throughout the game, which kind of makes me feel bad because the sniper is cool. But I, you know, when I was looking up like, oh, which is the best gun in Ratchet and Clank, I feel like most people just una like unanimously agreed that the sniper just has like a really awkward place inside of Ratchet and Clank because the game is a very up in your face like brawler. It's not like a sneaky type game. So something like the sniper is really cool and it's strong, but it doesn't fit the actual play style of Ratchet and Clank. Like never in my head did I think, oh yeah, let me just like snipe the bosses from afar. No, I, I want to get up close and personal and shove my whip down their throat, you know? So, but hey, maybe I'll try to utilize the sniper more late game. Maybe, 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 who knows, but. All right, 81, four-fifths of the way through. At this point, it's smart to just save ammo on your good guns. Keep your HP above 20. Realistically, I shouldn't lose any HP during the last boss fight, but, you know, you don't want to play that game heading into it. But. Yep, 83. We did manage to slowly increase our HP by getting a few boxes here and there. We are up to 56. I'm going to go ahead and utilize the last of my Razor. And hopefully get a few more Razors from the ammo because the Razor... I mean, look, if my turrets and boom agents don't finish the boss off, the Razor's 
by far like the better the best one to use after that but let's use our inferno save ourselves a little bit more ammo smack him in the head with a molten ratchet all right cycling weapons once again favorite rounds by far because you can just use all the ammo you got just keep using it not like it matters they'll give you a new gun in two seconds these are the times where I love spamming my guns. But yeah. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We blasted him up. Ow. Gotta watch my feet, dude. My ankles are gonna be tore up. Keep sticking them in fan blades. Right, we can pull out the blicky. Although I don't have much, too much ammo on it. Yeah, I'm kind of... Yeah. Sniper. Cool. <laughs> Again, it, do it doesn't fit the play style of Ratchet and Clank, right? Because the sniper is also really strong against singular opponents, but since when in Ratchet and Clank history do they like to send one opponent at you at a time, you know? It's usually like six or seven. So if you have a sniper, it's like, well, you know. And then again. I have not upgraded the sniper, so for all I know, maybe its upgrade is like multi sniper, shoot 20 million people at once. Like, I, I don't know, I haven't upgraded it, so. You know, maybe I'll have to eat my words at a later date. Hopefully not. Alright, we're at round 92. Let's grab some Inferno Power. We're at 49 out of 86 as far as our HP, which is pretty good, staying above half. Alright, cycling weapons once again. We got Doom Agents. We got my favorite gun of all time, which is the Razor Gun. Super strong, kills a lot of people. Super long range. Can't really get better than the Razor Gun, in my opinion. Also, goaded in the sewers. When you're trying to when you're fighting the Boo slimes to get the Boo crystals. But it's so good. Alright. We're at round 96. Four rounds away. What switch? What's going on? Hey, oh. Switching weapons once again. Alright, uh, we'll utilize a little bit of our betrayal, betrayal gun. 97. We're at 98. Two rounds away. Decent amount of ammo. Plenty of health, so we're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good, no problem. Once again, if you guys are doing this challenge, you're wondering how the secret is: use the infernos as much as possible. Use your weak guns in the beginning. Utilize the cycling weapon rounds. It's you know really simple, and most of all, don't suck. I think that's probably the best piece of advice I can give you. All right, round 100. We got our last boss fight. Let's utilize our discs absolutely destroy maybe use a couple of our turrets here yeah these turrets will absolutely melt look look at her health look at her health melting dude pull out the blicky finish her off easy peasy that is the challenge completed very cool hey everybody so it is the next day and i'm getting to play a little more of this wonderful wonderful game so we just got the brand new suit of armor and we just picked up the 200k from the final mission from Annihilation Nation. Now, I think, what's our mission, right? We gotta go, we, okay, so this is optional. Or oh, we'll play episode 5. Okay, so we gotta go play episode 5 of the game. That's first thing first. So let's head over back to Phoenix, and let's go play that. Now, as might be wondering why my voice is all weird. Dude, straight up, I have no idea. I'm not sick. <laughs> like, I got no nose drainage. I don't have a headache. I don't have a fever. My throat isn't even sore. I've just got phlegm for some reason. So I don't know if, you know, the universe was like, hey, David gets to record for the first time in a few months. Hey, let's, let's not even make him sick. Let's just <laughs> phlegm in his throat. Like, bro, come on now. I finally get to record and you just give me some random bacteria up in my bronchi, like, chill, bro. Alright. Issue 5, here we go. Let's see what we got. I always love these loading screens, because they didn't even add music, they are just like, yup. Just gonna sit in your own silence. 
This is the true story that Captain Quark hoped you would never see. The unauthorized, uncensored, and utterly unbelievable missing chapter of the Quark comic series. Pure discretion is advised. Just a word of advice, Nefarious. <laughs> Quit while you're ahead. And so, Quark believed that the threat posed to the galaxy had been ended forever, but he was dead wrong. Bottoms up. Somebody say something. What took you so long? I was picking out some new curtains for the torture chamber. They're crushed velvet with a gold lame trim. Oh, I think he really add life to the space. Never mind that now. Grab Quark and let's get out of here. Of course, sir. Oh, Quark. I've never met a man like you. After you, I'll be ruined for other men. That's what they all say. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah, where am I? You're in my secret prison, awaiting the most ingenious and depraved punishment I can possibly imagine. Come, Lawrence. It's time for my massage. Oh, goody. Using his antenna as a lockpick, Quark eventually managed to open the door to his cell. Almost got it. And then picking the uh, lock of a lock like that big must knows. be so easy. Uh oh. Like that's comically large how ho big that hole is. Alright, here we go. <clears throat> oh shoot. Yo, let me shoot my gun, dog. Take that and that. Bro, what are these purple things? Oh, the water's rising. Alright, we need to go. We need to go and like stat. Bro, how do I suck so bad at dodging these? Ooh. Freezing water is cold. Bro, seriously? <clears throat> I just die from touching the cold water? Alright, here we go. <clears throat> Wait, is there something over here? Ooh, yeah, there is something over here. What is Lawrence gonna do about this? Bruh, climb in the upward direction, bro. Like, Jesus. Yeet. Okay. No. Yo! Captain, you want to go in the upwards direction, dog? I, I need to grab that. Okay. Bruh. Alright, it's worth it. <clears throat> I wanted to grab that one. Free lube job? Jeez, can I get one of those? Alright, oh wait, I missed a thingy down there. Nope, 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 nope. I missed one. Sure. Yep, I wanna grab these bad boys. Okay. Now, <clears throat> I also wanna go back for the green thing. So now, here we go. Oh, did I grab the green thing already? Oh, I must have grabbed the green thing already. Okay. Never mind, I am just trolling then. Bruh. Get in my way, buddy. I'm trying not to die. That one real quick. Oh! Your butt cheek. Ah. Alright. Bruh, the purple thing hit me. Surprisingly, I think we'll make it out of this with all the hundred though, which is the crazy part. Straight up, don't even care. All right, now I care a little bit. Hey, oh, 
the Tinian Bolt Gang. Oh yeah, 25k? <clears throat> nice. You love to see it. After his narrow escape from the clutches of Dr. Nefarious, Quark dropped out of the public eye. Truth is, Quark was holed up in his secret hideout on the Thran asteroid, terrified that <clears throat> Dr. Nefarious would make good on his promise of revenge. When Nefarious didn't resurface, Quark assumed he was gone forever and returned to his career as a high-profile celebrity superhero. But the galaxy had not seen the last of Dr. Nefarious. Ouch! What do you think you're doing, you oaf? Do hold still, sir. This is a very delicate procedure. There, that should do the trick. Go ahead, take her for a spin. What's going on? Where are my arms? Whose butt is this? Oh, my mistake, sir. Dreadfully sorry. Laura! Oh, Lance. Oh, my. We will have to get that fixed. <laughs> One of these days. I should have known Quark was full of it. But why would Quark lie to us? Dude, Quark is bogus, bogus, bogus. You can ask him yourself when we see him. According to this vid comic, Quark has a secret hideout in the Thran asteroid belt. I've got a hunch he's there right now. <laughs> He says he wants to come with us. I don't think that... Oh, wait a minute. You speak monkey? Oh, just enough to get by. <laughs> now what? I love Clank more and more every second. have ears like a Florana dung beaver. <laughs> yeah, hilarious. Let's see if he's still laughing when he finds out his pal Quark is working with Nefarious. Major bogus. Surely Quark would never... He teamed up with Drek, didn't he? And I know I don't have to remind you about that protopet business. Who knows what he's capable of? <laughs> it's so weird for a game <clears throat> where the characters, like, aren't really given, like, too much fleshing out. Like, actually kind of how attached we get to them. Like, I genuinely love Ratchet and Clank as characters now, even though, like, there hasn't really been much, but the game really has a way of like bringing you closer to the two, like through humor. I love that. Now right, let's go take a look if we have any... I think we can buy the final weapon, actually. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, wait. Oh, it's a discount to people who have played in the past games, okay. So the Rift Inducer. Let's go ahead and buy the Rift Inducer, because we have 300,000 that we got... Um, through getting the crystals and also through the Annihilation Nation. Well, the ammo. So, I think that is all of the guns, and we still have 120,000, but there are still, I think, two gadgets to buy from <clears throat> Slim Jim or whatever his name is. The real question is, where is the Rift gun? 